We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. In recognition of great African-American achievers, this Black History Month, let's bring our A-game. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hello, how we doing? I gotta sit back. How are we feeling today? I hope everybody's feeling good on their Monday. Um, just double checking just because my setup is new that everybody's hearing me properly. I know I did the sound check yesterday, but you know, I'm just being thorough. Just being thorough. Loud and clear, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I am so glad to, you know, have rectified that for you all. So glad to have rectified that for you all. Cause y'all deserve a, a good show, both audially and visually. Because it makes it hard to listen to if the sound is bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, I want to hear what she's saying, but no. Not if it's going to sound like that. Thank you, Adrian. Oh, Nicole, I'm about to sound, do another sound check. Sound weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. So I got a good one for you today. We gonna cook today, y'all. We gonna cook today, y'all, because they think just because Kevin Samuels is gone that his message went somewhere. His message ain't gone, and y'all still got the same problem y'all been had when he was there to tell you about it. You had a problem before he was here to tell you about it. You had a problem after he was here to tell you about it. That don't make that don't make y'all <laughs> no better. Boop. Y'all enjoy my mini concert. <laughs> now my next endeavor is to get my lighting just right because I got some studio bulbs. These are the bulbs I've been had like for the longest, right? but I need them to be in yellow. Now the problem is that these are white lights. These are white light, daytime lights. They're, they're basic studio lights. And I've been looking on Amazon for lights that give you warm, cold, and white, but they are all a different shape. And I'm wondering if I can get at least two of them bulbs, I may have to get 
because the bulbs I got are long. You know them long spiral bulbs? That's the kind of bulbs that's in these lights. But the ones that give you warm, cool, you know, they're like square. I don't know why they shape them like that. But I, I'm, that's my next endeavor. That shall be my next endeavor. So, but no, we're going to talk about it today. There's no replay because I've deleted it because it was just supposed to be a sound check, although it was like an hour. But I deleted the stream because it wasn't content. It wasn't really content. And I don't like anything cluttering my channel that's not actual content. Hey, Miss Sophie. So we gonna, let's talk about it. The truth is misogyny to black women. And the reason that I thought of it was because that is how Kevin Samuels is being characterized. At his passing, so many news outlets characterized him not only as a controversial YouTuber, which I can which I can, I can see how people would say he was controversial. You could, you could make a really good case for him being controversial because the truth in this day and age is controversial. But then they, they, char they also characterized him in many places as a misogynist and as a hater of black women, which I thought was a mischaracterization of him. And it made me think about what he was saying and why black women always say that it's misogynistic or they're being attacked if anybody male or female comes in and and just puts the mirror up and say nah, y'all are not doing what you need to do thank you bryant mays y'all are not doing what you need to do right Y'all are making crazy decisions in y'all life. And people are bringing it up. People are saying what it is instead of keeping quiet about all of the bad decisions that black women as a collective make. Thank you, Paul the Baptist. See, we done hiding we done hiding, y'all. I know I'm done. I've been done so long ago. Hiding uh, black women's shortcomings. Saving face with y'all. Trying not to air your dirty laundry and, and this, that, and the third. And it's time out for that. And the reason why it's time out for that is because y'all have gotten worse over the generations and over the years. Y'all have gotten worse. Black women have gotten worse. Us keeping things, quote unquote, in-house has not helped y'all see the light, so to speak. It has not helped black women to understand the error of her decision-making and how it has harmed black people. Her family, her community, she, ain't, she has not taken any, she hasn't taken anything from that. And say, you know what? We really do need to change. We really do need. Y'all have just gotten deeper into the BS. Y'all just that got deeper into the foolishness. And anybody that say you're deep into foolishness, they're automatically misogynistic. The one thing, whether you agreed with whatever Kevin said or not, because like I said, I didn't agree with everything he said. Every point that he had, I didn't agree with those points. I didn't agree with those points all the time, but okay, you don't need to, you don't have to, you'll be okay with not agreeing with them points. You have to agree with everything. People, people rock with me and don't agree with everything that I've said. And that's fine. It's called a difference of opinion. But the main reason he was called a misogynist was due to the truth that he was telling to and about black women. They had, they had problems 
with the following critiques, and we're going to talk about them. They had a problem with his critique about they wait. Had a problem with his critique about black women's general lack of femininity. Had a problem with his critique about black women's general disrespect that they show. And he had a critique about consistently bad life decisions, among other kinds of critique. But these were the ones that triggered them so badly. Let's talk about your weight. Let's talk about black women's weight. It is not and has never been cute for y'all to be as overweight as you are. This is why Lizzo has breakdowns. This is why she was getting online crying and hooping and hollering about how didn't nobody like her and didn't nobody want her to the point where I think she called herself, got a little boyfriend now, and people was online like, oh, okay, that's good, sweetie, because she 9,000 pounds and she has mental breakdowns over it over Instagram. So now it's like, oh, baby, mm -hmm, look at that there baby, her done got her a man, ooh-wee, her done got her a man, see, don't nobody do that with women that's fine, don't nobody do that with women that ain't 900 pounds, you understand what I'm saying? When you are not 900 pounds and crying about the men that don't want you, See, nobody was saying when Rihanna got a man, oh, you got a man, ooh. See, because you expect Rihanna to have a man. Because Rihanna's pretty. Now, she got a gyno crap for, all of, for everything that I've known about her. But Rihanna's pretty. In her 30s or not. So, and she don't get online talking about what kind of man she don't get. Not that I've heard. So, so people aren't like, oh, she with ASAP Rocky, a dad cute. Ain't nobody doing that. Because you expect a man to be on Rihanna's job. You expect that. Wasn't nobody surprised that Beyonce got a man and a husband. Wasn't nobody surprised by that. Y'all are fat. A good majority of you are fat and you didn't like him playing that little Y'all didn't like him playing the little tuba and calling you Big Shirley and saying you ain't never seen Big Shirley step out of some man's Ferrari. You ain't. Thank you, JJ. Say, Kendra, I've got an idea. The business YouTube channel is going live tonight at 8 p.m. He might be interviewing Kendra G. Call, ask him to help you get a hubby. I ain't, I ain't got to call nobody to help me get no man. Um, hey, thank you, Selma. Thank you, Philip. Said he only focused on what most men already felt and experienced. He didn't create anything that didn't already exist and or call in proving his point. Exactly. Exactly. See, he didn't say nothing that wasn't true in terms of the problems that black women have and the things that y'all are doing. All of that stuff was true. You do lack femininity. You are masculine. That's why he started talking about, I got a PhD. That's why he started doing that. Because y'all was calling in trying to say you had value because you were masculine. Y'all were calling in, talking about what kind of value you had because you went to school. Because you got a PhD. Because you got a little hair weave business that you selling, you selling bundles on AliExpress. So now you think you an entrepreneur. When you ain't did nothing but go to the beauty supply store, buy a bunch of Remy packs, take them out of the pack, or you stole them, took them out of the pack so they wouldn't have no name brand on them and they just virgin bundles. Girl, bye.
Now you think you own a business. Thank you, Health and Healing. Say, KS's message hits the Muslims the hardest. They even called them. And they, it, I, you know, I don't, I think I might have seen one or two times. Because I didn't actually watch his show like that. I didn't watch Kevin like that. I knew of Kevin. You know, I knew his show came on and stuff like that. So, you know, I would hear the sound bites. I would hear more so people reacting to certain clips of his show. But I didn't necessarily attend his show like that. Like watching whole shows. I never really did that. But I'm still aware of what his message was. I'm aware of it. And black women was mad because it was true. Because if you're not mad, if it's not true, why are you mad? Your lack of femininity. You came through talking about your PhD as if that made you a better woman. And everything that he was trying to say was that you're going out and getting the external values. Mobility, education, profession, leisure, and wealth doesn't speak to your internal value as a person. Who are you as a woman? Okay, just because you went and got higher education, that doesn't mean you're a good person. That doesn't mean you're a good woman. That doesn't mean that you come, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a package that men appreciate or like. That doesn't mean you're bringing anything of value to that relationship that that man like. And that's why he started saying, Yo, your PhD and your money don't matter. And then people thought he was talking out the side of his neck when he would say, well, are you going to put money towards the pot? Are you going to put money in the pot or money towards the house? Well, I thought all money didn't matter. And that's because half of y'all is, is hard-headed and the other half of you stupid. One half of you hard-headed and the other half of you hyenas is stupid. And the reason why I say that is because you let stuff go over your head. He's saying that it don't matter because you're not going to be spending your money in the relationship to take care of it anyway. So you coming with your money doesn't mean anything to a man because you're not trying to benefit him with your money. That's what men are talking about when they say your money don't matter. Because men don't mind uplifting you from a lower financial position to a higher one because he's not looking for you to provide for him financially. But now if you do come with the, 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 the three of you, the three of you in the pack that do have six figures, because this is another cap. Y'all quit talking about how many black women make six figures. No, y'all don't. No, y'all don't. That's the upper 1%. Stop. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Most of y'all broke. Most of you 304s and thoughts is broke. You've been thoughting and bopping for the last 15, 20 years, and you ain't got a dollar to show for it. Can we say black China? That's why I did that video. And I know it didn't necessarily catch on, but the people who watched it understood what I was talking about. Y'all chicks is broke. You bad bees and you broke bees. You bad broke bees. You can go ahead and put the other B in it. Put the other B. Triple B. Triple threat. Bad broke bees. Instead of bad and bougie. You bad broke. Y'all ain't got no money that you don't lift up off of a man. Or get through hoeing. Whether that's on a pole, whether that's on an OnlyFans, wh whatever it is. Whether that's in being an insta thought. All y'all get y'all money through some form of prostitution of yourselves. So stop the cap. He talked about black women's blatant disrespect. You came on his show disrespectful. Thank you, Health and Healing said, thank you. We are always go in traditional as men. Yeah. 
unless you a son husband, I might do a show on you little simps and maggles. Might do a little show on y'all simps and maggles. Cause it, cause one thing I can't stand a little bit more than a hyena is her hyena simp. The hyena male that come to her defense and she don't like him. She'll bop him upside the head too. Thank you, Passionate Rebellion. Say, your video on Black Women Rejoicing in the Past and Chaos was one of the greatest critiques of hyenas I've ever seen. We needed to hear that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frederick Thought Olympics. Exactly. Y'all don't even know how to enter into discourse. Because you don't know how to shut up when other people are talking. You try to talk through people. That don't make your point no better. It just make you sound stupid. That's all it do. It just make you look like a petulant child. I, 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 and he would have to always shut y'all up. Shut up while grown people are talking. And y'all didn't ever like that. Because you don't like the truth. The truth is misogynistic. The truth is bashing. He talked about your consistently bad life decisions. How many baby mamas called him? How many baby mamas called him? How many women called him and was trying to tell him about what went on in their failed relationship only to tell on they self, oops, tell on they self, to tell about what mistake they actually made. See, they started telling the story thinking he wasn't going to catch on. I'm going to tell y'all why. I'm going to tell y'all why they would call Kevin consistently and tell on themselves, aside from being idiots. Um, and I'm not saying everybody that called him was an idiot, but he had a lot of idiots calling. That, that's what I'm saying. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all why they would call and try to still run that story on him. Y'all want to know why they would call and still run that story on him? Try to still run their little story and then be surprised when he call it out. Put a one in the chat you want to know. Thank you, Siobhan. So I love your message. Keep speaking and trying to save the community. The reason why a lot of them chicks would call up and try to run their little game about you know, what went on in a relationship, yada, 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 when he would start asking questions is because they perceived Kevin. Now, I'm not calling him this, but they perceived Kevin to be effeminate. And they were treating him like they was talking to their effeminate male friend that they could tell stuff to and not be called out. And they would get mad when he would start talking to them like a man when he was hearing stuff the way men hear it. Men hear women's stories much differently than women try to tell it or women hear other women's stories. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mark. Say chaos was the ultimate outcome of preachers coddling their main financiers for decades instead of telling the truth. The truth forces you to make a choice when you call out and forced to confront your own failures. Exactly. Thank you, Black Empower. So these palm color feminists got some of our sisters all mixed up. They perceived him to be their effeminate male friend that they have. And with their effeminate male friend, they can tell them the same kind of stories that they tell their girlfriends. And a lot of times the effeminate male friend will see it and then be like, I don't even, not even gonna call it out because why should I? She do what she wanna do, whatever. But when they would say that to Kevin, he was actually hearing them with man ears, not woman ears. So when he would start talking to them like they daddy, that's when they would get upset with him. Tell me I'm lying. That's when they would get upset because then he started asking questions that nobody's supposed to ask black women. Where's your father? Who are the men in your life? Who have these men been in your life? Where are they? What did they do? What did they say to you? What did you learn from your daddy? 
What did you learn from a male figure? Did you even have a male figure? See, they didn't like that because these are the questions that men ask. These are the questions that men ask when they are taking a role of a leader or father with you in that moment. Men see things and they perceive the world quite differently than what women do. So he's not going to be like, oh, girl, see, a woman like Kendra G, for example, she may hear the BS, but she's not a man. So she may even call out the BS at times. I've heard Kendra G call out the BS at times, too. But she's still not going to approach them like a man would approach them because she's not a man. Right? She's not a man. So she can't approach like a man would approach. Kevin had to. He had to approach them that way. He had to approach them in a way that made them uncomfortable because the majority of these women have never had a man talk to them in a way where I put it like this. These women have never talked to a man that talked to them straight because he wasn't trying to screw them. That's what it was. That's why they didn't like the discourse because he was speaking to them as a man that's not trying to get at them. So if, and when men speak to women that they not trying to get at, you gonna, you going to hear some hard truths from him because he's not trying to impress you. He's not trying to impress you. He's not trying to get in your panty drawers or nothing. He don't want nothing like that from you. He don't need nothing from you. He don't even need you to agree with what he's saying. He don't even need you to like what he's saying. He don't need you to agree with what he say. He don't need you to follow what he say. But you came over here asking for his, ins for his foresight and his problem solving. And that's what he gave you. And women, a lot of black women don't know how to accept the problem solving of a man that don't want them. Because now you're about to get it without the sugar coat. Because I ain't got to never talk to you no more. And that's the position Kevin was in with a lot of them. You ain't got to call me. I ain't got to talk to you. You ain't none of my woman. I don't got to call your feelings. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to wake up with you the next morning. I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, have sex, sex with you tonight to calm you down. I ain't got to do nothing. Don't never call me no more. Boop, <laughs> boop. And that's what it is. That's what it really was with them. That was the real problems that they was having with Kevin's message. He was talking to them the way a man talk to you when he don't want no sex from you. When he not trying to be your man. And he don't got nothing else for you. Okay, whatever. You, you, you came over here with problem solving. That's what I gave you. It ain't problem solving with a little D on the side or none of that. That's what your man do. Your man give you problem solving and then procreation on the side. That's what he do. So you will come to your man, he'll give you some problem solving, and you might, mm, you know, and all that kind of stuff a little bit, soak a little bit. Then he give you a little deep later on, soften the blow. That's what your man do. That ain't what other men that you go to, they not, and they ain't trying to get at you. But let me come, let me get to a commercial and I will be right back. Hey guys, this is Spanky Hayes. And I want to say something, whether it's comedy, acting, or just in general real life. I use my A-game. I got to have the A-game. I pack it in every pocket. I got one pill in every pocket and every pair of pants I got. Listen, entertaining y'all is hard sometimes. I gotta fly to Dallas, then to Denver, then to New York, then to LA, then to Detroit. Come on, man, that tires me out. I just take the head game now. I don't have that problem no more. 
I usually barely don't sleep because I'm entertaining y'all. I'm in the studio all night with the A-game. And trust me, when I come home from the studio, my woman gets to feel the real pleasure of the A-game. You see, I'm smiling. Watch this. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. Guess what I just took? What? A game, a game, a game, a game. I'm gonna meet you upstairs. All right. Y'all are killing me talking about he look like Ja Rule. He do kind of look like Ja Rule's brother a little bit. Like, he 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 Ja Rule older brother. Because every thug needs some A-game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't, don't understand the goofiness. Y'all don't understand. Mm -hmm. But getting back to how men talk to you when they're problem solving, but they don't want no sex from you. Oh, do I owe y'all a... I owe y'all a bam, 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 bam. You gotta hit the like button, bam, bam. You gotta eh, 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 eh. Thank you for the 376 people that hit the like button. I really, really, really appreciate. And I also appreciate the other 370 people to hit the like button. Thank you. So when men give you correction, and this is why black women don't deserve a, a black man's problem solving either, because they don't know how to take it. This feminist world got y'all thinking that ain't nobody supposed to talk to y'all straight up. And that everybody has to rock about baby you. No. No rock about baby in you. No rock about baby in you about the, about the decisions that you make that have ruined uh, black generations for the past five or six generations, at least since the 50s or 60s, don't nobody got time to rock about baby you about that. Don't nobody got time to rock about baby you about these single mother decisions. Ain't nobody got time to rock about baby you about this single, I'm independent, you know, can't no man tell me nothing, and how that has ruined the black community and how that has divided the black community to a point where we may or may not be able to actually get it back together again. Ain't nobody got no time to rock about baby and poo poo and tutu -toot you through that. Nobody, nobody. Thank you Ismael said, Kevin told us how gynocracy and sign language ruin us. We live in a time where overweight women, AKA Lizzo can be considered for playboy. Exactly, like somebody wants to see all that. And you can get mad at it. Because black people, black women like BS. Y'all like foolishness and craziness. That's what you like. And, and the famous thing, especially in the comment section, of my videos that I dropped about Kevin. And I'm gonna tell you this much, I've been deleting comments that you're gonna be human in my comment section. Let me let me let me say that for a real quick second, a real quick diversion. You're gonna be a human being in my comment section. You gonna come to the comment section and you gonna at least act like you got homo sapien blood running through your bones. You're not going to get in my comment section and talk crazy. I don't care what your feelings are. I don't care if you like Kevin Samuels or you didn't like him. That's not, that's not my business. But you're going to be a human being in my comment section. You go somewhere else, you want to be a monkey.
You go somewhere else, you want to be a trash bot. Ain't nobody going to, I'm not tolerating it. Anybody come to my, my comment section, you can have a difference of opinion or you can have another thing, but you're going to be a human being in my comment section. You're going to have some dignity and you're going to have some class even if you disagree. It is a crimson tatorship over here. You understand that? So a lot of comments got deleted. Comments saying crazy stuff about Kevin. Again, I don't care if you liked him or you didn't like him. But you are not going to come over here and talk crazy about that man, that man gone. You had about two, three years, two and a half years or so to call into his show with all the smoke. He used to have little shows about free smoke and all that kind of stuff. You should have had, you should have had the cojones to call in. Okay. Put your big girl bra on and call in, but you didn't do that. Your little, your little simp lollipoppies didn't do it either. Shout out to Danica. Anyway. To escape the accountability of it all, the famous thing that black women will say that they didn't like about Kevin's approach was his what? Put it in the chat. It's one word. I didn't like his. Put it in the chat. I know you know the word. Didn't like his tone. That is cap. It does not matter what tone anybody talk to black women in. It could be hard. It could be soft. It could be mediocre. It could be straight up. It could be with sugar on top. It could be whatever it's going to be. And black women do not like the truth. It doesn't matter the tone. It doesn't matter who the messenger is. It doesn't matter the response from black women when anybody tell them the truth about them is the same. This is why I don't watch my tone. Let's get into that a little bit. This is why I don't watch no tone. And this is why I also don't make any disclaimers. Not all black women, not, not all of you, not all of us. I had some jumping in the comment section. Not all of us was, was disrespectful at his death. If it don't apply to you, why are you saying something? See, I don't need no so-called lionesses getting mad and getting hurt on the behalf of a hyena. Kind of make me think you got back feet, you dang on self. You got back feet or you got lion paws? Which one you got? Hold them up so I can see them. Stop it. If you a lion, that's why you mad that hyenas is getting hunted. Thank you, Chano, said a triggering tone of accountability. Exactly. Thank you, Ruminant. Ask Monique about tone. Exactly. I'm tired of y'all so-called good women calling y'all self getting mad and getting sensitive that hyenas is being hunted across the plain. Because you know what lionesses do when hyenas is being hunted and deleted? You know what lionesses are doing at that time? Y'all want to know? Put a foe in the chat if you want to know what lionesses are doing at the time that hyenas is being hunted and deleted. I'm going to give you a visual demonstration of what lionesses do when hyenas is being hunted in, across the plain.
They go get a cub. That's what lionesses do when hyenas get hunted. They for certainly not running around the Serengeti Plains running pale male from side to side talking about y'all hunting hyenas. So I'm going to need y'all so-called lionesses that I suspect may have back feet. If you a real lioness, why you mad? Why you sensitive? Because see, if I said something that hit you, then I hit the hyena part. I hit the back feet. I hit your back feet. I hit your back feet. Maybe you shouldn't have had back feet for me to hit. I don't watch tone. I don't watch disclaimers. I don't do none of that. Because black women, the vast majority of y'all, Thank you, Kia Flo. So I always speak in truth. We need you and love you. Love you too. Stop getting sensitive when hyenas is being hunted. Stop that. Now, if something hits you, then maybe that's a part of you that need to be worked on. That's fine. That's fine. Stuff used to hit me a few years ago. Ooh, ooh. But I didn't get mad at it. I didn't get mad at it. I went to go heal it. I went to go deal with it. I went to go become a better lioness is what I did. But what I didn't do was run around the internet and try to cape for them. Under the guise of we caping for all the women. No. And this is how hyenas have flourished across the pride lands. Because lionesses gave them cover. And I've talked about this before. Thank you, R1993 said, good live. I agree, black women need to quit the sensitivity. I don't pay attention to black women being sensitive because y'all are some of the most meanest, disrespectful people on the face of this earth. I don't give you grace because you don't give none. I don't give you mercy because you don't give none. You don't get empathy because you don't give none. You callous and you hard. And the world treats you as such. You get the energy that you put out. You don't care about nobody. You don't love nobody. You don't have empathy for nobody. You don't have sensitivity for nobody. You don't see things from another perspective. You ain't, you know what I'm saying, walking a mile in somebody else's shoes or to try to see, you know what I'm saying, can, can, what can you do? How can you soften your position or how can you come meet somebody in the middle or how you can really compromise with, you know what I'm saying, how you can really get, y'all don't do none of that. So you don't get it back. You want a mercy you don't give. You want grace that you don't give. You want love that you don't give. You want concern that you don't give. You want leniency that you don't give. You don't give none. So why do you think you should get it? Why do you think people should tiptoe around you? You don't tiptoe around nobody. You kick people in the teeth when you find them down. That's what you do. That's what you do. You dance over folks' grave when you don't like them. That's what you do. You the same women running around here deleting kids when you can't control the daddies with them and you want love and respect and honor. No, 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 no.
That's why you don't deserve a black man's provision. That's why you don't deserve a black man's problem solving. That's why you don't deserve the protection. That's why you don't deserve the procreation because you're disrespectful. You're too disrespectful to get it. You're too selfish to appreciate it. You don't give no quarter, so you shouldn't get none. Garbage in, garbage out. That's why your relationships don't work, whether they be Romero. They, your relationship with men don't work. Your relationship with your kids don't work. Your relationship with your mama don't work. Your relationships at work don't work. Because everywhere you go, you put garbage in and you think you're supposed to get gold out. And that's not how life works. And when somebody sit here and tell you that's how, not how life works, you get mad. You get mad at me when I tell you that's not how life works. You get mad at Kevin Samuels when he tell you that's not how life works. It's not how nothing, that's how not how none of this works. None of this has ever worked like that. Too bad, so sad, your mama led you astray. You need to go back to her. In her old age, while she's sitting in that rocking chair, she done, uh, she done causing all the H-E double hockey sticks that she could in her lifetime. Now she can't walk and can't hardly talk no more. You need to go back over there to her old decrepit self and tell, read her a thing or two for leading you astray. And stop getting mad at everybody else because we pointing it out. So it ain't got nothing to do with tone. And they go, oh, that's the way it was said. No, it was the fact that it was said. That's the problem. And like I said earlier in the stream, done coddling you. Done coddling you. Just because that man has gone on to glory, the message ain't go nowhere. Some of y'all still big Shirley. The other part of you still masculine. The other part of you still stupid. And I'm calling you stupid because you, it is stupidity and willful ignorance when somebody bring up what's going on with you and you keep denying the truth and denying the truth and denying the truth and going the other way. That's stupidity. That would be stupidity. That would be willful ignorance. Can't say nobody willfully ignorant. Can't say nobody like that. What you going to do with a fool? What you going to do with a fool? Thank you, Nelson. It's a great content, hard truths. Thank you. Thank you, Hanak. What you gonna do with a fool? Thank you, wouldn't you like to know? Say, if it's not exactly what they want to hear, they complain about the tone. Exactly. And we got time out for tell, trying to tell y'all, y'all queens, and y'all, you know, you know, and y'all know no better. That's why I don't give y'all no excuses. I talk about feminism, and I talk about the history of it right thank you AKs and curtains I talk about the history of it but make no mistake make no mistake we are a couple of centuries on and you know you know we live in the we live in the result of feminism now so you can't claim ignorance so I don't give you that pass oh well the white women led you astray the white women led our ancestors astray what's your excuse Thank you, R, again, R1993, so I blame Okra and the talk shows promoting this BS. Mm-hmm. Oh, they had a major hand in that crap. Sure did. What's y'all's excuse today? Because it's not like you don't have any course correction out there. It's not like you don't have people like myself, people like Kevin Samuels when he was here. You had Iyana Van Zant, You had Shaharazad Ali. And even at that, them two at one point didn't see eye to eye, but Iyana see it now. So you had a lot of allies. You had a lot of people in your corner. And you had a lot of people saying, wait a minute, sisters, y'all got it wrong. Y'all got it wrong. You got it wrong. So let me try to correct it because it's a dead end. The way you're going, it's a dead end. Don't none of that end with no type of good. It don't end well. So let us try to correct the course so that you don't hit that dead end. And y'all want to hit it 50,000 miles per hour. Okay. 
Okay. Because, see, my job is not to help you hyenas. I don't help hyenas. Thank you, Ron. My job is to help lionesses not fall in the hyena trap. And lionesses that may have fallen into a few hyena traps, I'm here to, to, to set the records straight so that, hyena, so that lion, lionesses can understand where they fell into the hyena trap so they can get out of it. So they can recognize what, what's going on around them. So they don't have to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over and over. That's what, that's what I'm doing. You lost hyenas, y'all are done. Y'all, y'all is zipped up in a body bag, cold in a morgue. I don't. I ain't coming to revive none of y'all. Because you made your choice. You made your choice. You are the enemy to us all. You are not only the enemy to black men, you the enemy to good black women. And I need good black women to understand that just because these women are women, that don't make them your sisters. I need the good black women to understand it. Stop giving them y'all cover. Stop giving hyenas your cover. Stop giving them your empathy. Understand an enemy when you see one. Just because she look like you, talk like you, and may have grown up in the same neighborhood as you don't make her like you. Thank you, C to the Rock. So found you after Kevin's death. I'm so happy as a black woman you're on the front lines. Thank you. I'm here to, to, to rally the call of the lionesses. Wake y'all up, because y'all are dozing. You're sleepy. I need you to get up. These women and the mindset that they have carried has destroyed us. I am not looking to save them. They can stay buried over with the lost value system, and the American nightmare. They can stay over there with their beloved zaddies. They can stay. I'm not here to change no divestor's mind. That, that's, why I don't, that's why I won't go and debate, you know, bang-yang and all of them. I'm not going over there. I'm not going over there. And this ain't about fear. But I know who they are already. We'll go over there and say what to what. Going over there talking to them hyenas. They don't want to be better. So why would I go race my breath? They know I'm over here. They want to learn something better and come do better. They can come do better. That's why you never catch me over that. And you know, y'all should really care about black men. No, no. They know what they should be doing and what they ain't doing. They chose this path. Let them walk it. I don't know why y'all give them the time of day and your energy anyway. I don't give them none. You're not going to get none of my algorithm energy. I just had to, I just had to uh, say that to the women today. I pay, know that if you come to my comment section talking about my tone, I ignore that completely. 
just like Kevin Samuels ignored it when you would call over there and come over there because nobody has time to coddle it anymore. We don't. We, we don't. We are at the brink of extinction. The time for petting you and, and, and walking you slowly through it, that's done with. You either with the program or you ain't with the program. Ain't nobody trying to save y'all hyenas. We just see you for what you are. That's all. I just, I just point out who you are and what you are so lionesses can see you, so lions can see you and not get mixed up. Thank you, General Tito. So it's not about going at the swirlers. It's about getting on the same scroll with them for any woman new to YouTube. I can kind of see that, but I'm still not going over there to get them no energy. The vast majority of them females is lost. If they want to be found, they know where to come. They grown, we gonna let them be grown. We gonna let them be grown, strong, and wrong. We gonna let them be wrong. Thank you, Silver, said wifey and leaving Miami now. Uh, wifey and I leaving Miami now and in the airport seen a big BW fussing about paying for a carry-on bag. All loud and ugly, <laughs> only one act of fool. See, that's, what, that's what they do. Hyenas, that's, they the only animal you hear across the plane yelping. Ooh, that's the only one you hear from miles around. You, you know, what are they doing over there? And you just hear them hollering. You know they up to no good and some BS. Will you hear? Will you be listening to a? Uh, <laughs> you be listening to an animal show and then you hear it in the background. Ooh, it, yeah, here they come. Here they come. Here it is. Wanna act a fool? Hmm. Y'all know that's the sound hyenas make. They laugh, but they also make that whooping sound. Go, go, go look it, go look it up on YouTube. Any little hyena uh thing. They do they laugh and cackle, but they also do that ooh, especially when they get all together and think they really when it's about to really go down, they do that ooh, they, they do that. I can't stand hyenas, Re, uh, the two-legged ones or the four-legged ones. But if you a lioness that care about her lions and her pride, and when you hear, ooh, and they acting a fool across the plane and you doing it, then you deserve, again, thank you too tall. Thank you again, General, said fair enough, Kendra baby, but I'm still gonna roast Shay Chardé for not being able to call the divestors a hate group. Don't go too hard on Shay. Shay cool, Shay cool, Shay. I think Shay trying to find, I th and, and she can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if she's listening or not. But, but I'm watching the evolution of Shay Chardé. I'm watching the evolution of her. Because she started out not caping, but it was like, well, let me try to understand. And I think it's, I think some things is really dawning on her now. The more she look, the more she read, the more she encounter them. But yeah, divestors is a hate group. That's a hate group all day. Divestors is a hate group all day. They, they black women's uh, KKK. Huh. I ain't scared to say it. Boop. Divestors is a hate group. Because all they do is spew hatred of black men day in and day out. I'm wearing Revlon Satin Ink, a lipstick. Because all they do, all, all them swirlers do is sit on their platform and spew the most hateful, misandrous things that I could ever listen to. 
or have the displeasure of hearing. I don't even go to them channels. It's just the stuff you hear about that they say. Not to mention, not the least of which is the deletion of black males in the womb. Disgusting. They talk about genocide of black men and thus the genocide of the black race. Hate group, hate speech. That ain't nothing but some hate speech. When you can see them standing around Zaddy waving Confederate flags, come on now. Come on now. That, that, that's not about just happening to find a, a man he just so happened to be white and y'all just so happened to fall in love. That's different. Thank you, uh, Sandra John. Said the truth is misogyny, kryptonite, wrong prescription for some black women. Thank you, Crimson. Thank you. Nobody like no divestors. And, and they goofy. And they be goofy. And they be bringing up stats, reading them wrong. <laughs> Boop, y'all don't get it, knock it off. Y'all got me holding this. I done went on a rant holding the A-game box, y'all. Why you make me go on a rant, Tito? <laughs> Why you make me go on a rant? <laughs> you saw me pick this A-game box up. I was about to say, you know, <laughs> I had my segue all figured out. <laughs> I was talking about if we real lionesses and we love our men, you understand? And if you sitting, if you sitting in the in the plains as a lioness doing one of these, when you hear woo across the plane, then you deserve to get some A-game. You got to get some A-game, 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 uh, uh, some A-game. A-game is the number one male herbal solution, the number one. There is nothing like this on the market. I can promise you that. I promise you, you won't find this at no health store better than this. You won't find nothing no better than this at a Walgreens, a CVS, a Rite Aid, and nobody else. You're not even going to find better than this on Amazon. Let's just be real. You're not going to find better than A-game, nor more pure than A-game. Because it has 21 herbs and no artificial ingredients, none. Nothing to make you crash or no caffeine or sugars or sweeteners or anything like that. Just the herbs. And if you are interested in which herbs exactly and what they do that are in this formula, all you got to do is hit the link at the top of the chat, agameherbal.com. And when you, after you look at the, the, the ingredient list and you head it to the checkout, don't forget your 10% discount using the code Kendra10. Thank me later. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm going to thank everyone for coming through, for chatting with me, for hanging with me today, for hitting the like button. I appreciate that. All of your generous donations through Super Chat, through Cash App, and through PayPal. I thank everyone. And I thank a warm thank you to my support team, without which I cannot bring you any of this content. Uh, a warm thank you all around. I am going to wrap this up and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye, Crimsonites. Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.